Game 10 is the Redskins at the Giants, with an over-under of 42 and the Redskins favored by one. I don't need to tell you why you shouldn't play Alex Smith. I know you're not going to play Alex Smith. You know you're not going to play Alex Smith. Everyone knows you're not going to play Alex Smith. I actually think Smith is a solid real-life quarterback, but for the purposes of fantasy, man, f*** Alex Smith. Even less exciting is Alex Smith's receivers, who are a mix of injured, inefficient, and washed up. If you gotta play one, make it tight end Jordan Reed, who looks healthy enough to post the strong games we saw in previous years, but is only playing about 65% of snaps so far this season. The Redskins being favored sets up well for workhorse back Adrian Peterson, but his price is coming up and he's still not seeing many targets in the passing game. Chris Thompson will probably return this weekend, but his usage is always so sporadic that it's hard to play him. Here's a fun fact. Despite missing the last two weeks, Chris Thompson still leads the Redskins in receptions. Ugh. The Giants are falling apart at the seams, and although much of the blame belongs to Eli Manning, he's actually posted useful fantasy games multiple times this year, and fell just short of throwing for 400 yards last week against the Falcons. The Redskins' defense is obviously better than the Falcons, and the low total will keep everyone off Eli, but it's not crazy to think he has a solid fantasy game at this price. Odell Beckham had his best showing of the season last week, and he's been over 100 yards in half his game so far. Talent and volume like OBJ's is hard to deny, but playing on a bad team with a low total will keep his ownership down. Number two receiver Sterling Shepard also blew up last week, but he could lose a few targets with the return of tight end Evan Engram. Running back Saquon Barkley is everything they said he was and more, and the projection sites give him one of the highest ceilings of any running back. The problem with Barkley is that he also has one of the highest prices of any running back, as both sites list him at nearly 9000 You can always rationalize playing Barkley with his talent, but whether he can exceed his price tag on a team that struggles to score is another matter.